JBN keep you informed. I'm Michelle Jones and in the news, porridge too sweet and being too near to the bathroom complains Jane on Panton in letter. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, leave us a comment and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items. Almost two months after being jailed for her alleged role in the multi-billion dollar fraud uncovered at the investment firm Stocks and Securities Limited, SSL, Jane on Panton had a list of requests for prison administrators. Panton was given a wheelchair and placed in a dorm located at one of the newer areas of the South Camp Adult Correctional Center in St. Andrew after arrest in February. Acting superintendent at the facility, Jacqueline Wood Spencer disclosed on Thursday. Panton, a former wealth advisor at SSL, who resides at Millsborough Avenue in St. Andrew, is one of 22 inmates being housed at the correctional facility and is reported recovering from a surgery conducted last August. But according to an April 5 letter to Rhodes Spencer, she requested that a bedside lamp be placed in her room so that she could read at night. That request is still under discussion because we have to take into account other inmates who may be affected after lights out, Rhodes Spencer disclosed in the Home Circuit Court on Thursday. The contents of the letter were disclosed in court during a second failed bail application by Panton's attorney, Sylvester Hemmings. The first bail application was refused in late February. Panton also requested an extra mattress for her bed and wanted a television set closer to her dorm, away from another one used by other inmates. The mattress was supplied, but Rhodes Spencer said the request of the television was still under discussion. She requested too that her bed be relocated because it was beside a bathroom and the stench was unbearable. Rhodes Spencer conceded during cross-examination by Hemmings that it wouldn't be far-fetched that Panton sometimes had to use a bucket of water to flush the toilet in her dorm when it malfunctioned. This request was accommodated, the acting superintendent said. The prison boss said Panton also complained that she was sometimes served foods like hard-boiled eggs that she did not eat and meals she could not consume. She said the porridge was too sweet and she had difficulty eating same, the prison official told the court. Panton was on a specific diet, wrote Spencer said, and kitchen employees were given a list of things she could not be served, including watermelon, ripe bananas, carrot and cucumber. She also requested physiotherapy, and this was facilitated on Tuesday, according to the acting superintendent. Panton also wrote in the April 5 letter that her blood sugar level was low and she feared she was on the verge of a stroke. Dr. German White, a sessional medical officer employed to the Department of Correctional Services, has testified that Panton's blood sugar levels twice dropped to 2.9, but said there was nothing in her medical records to show that she had suffered a stroke or a seizure event while incarcerated. In the letter, Panton heaped praise on the prison medical team, writing that they had done an amazing job following up on her medication and that she was grateful. But her attorney, in his submission during the second bail application, before Justice Vinnett Graham Allen on Thursday, said doctors and prison staff at the South Camp Rehabilitation Center have not convinced this court that Panton's health is in capable hands. Graham Allen, in her decision to refuse bail, considered that prison administrators have gone to lengths to accommodate Panton. I do not find that this submission is borne up by the evidence of the doctor, the judge said, referring to Hemming's assertion. Graham Allen, however, ordered that the accused be assigned a nursing aid during the course of her incarceration. Panton is charged with breaches of the Larsley Act, the Proceeds of Crime Act, the Forgery Act, and the Cybercrimes Act in relation to the alleged fraud. She is scheduled to return to court on June 15. JBN will keep you informed. I'm Michelle Jones. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, leave us a comment, and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items.